1429 forecast. And we have no significant weather hazards for your Friday evening. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Here's the peak outside live through our traffic cameras courtesy of 511 Virginia, Charlottesville, I-64 to Waynesboro. We're seeing some sunshine break on now, so westbound travelers will need their sunglasses or the visor down. Also, we're seeing some uh, dry skies at Route 33 and 29 at Rutgersville into Greene County and I-81 at Verona between Harrisonburg and Stanton. Traffic moving right along with sunshiny skies breaking on out. There could be a rogue shower here or there, but nothing widespread, nothing like what we had uh, 24 hours ago when a lot of the area picked up some beneficial rainfall. 81 degrees currently in Charlottesville and also in Stanton. Uh, NBC 29's live Doppler radar scope is showing most of the area is rain free. We're seeing just a couple of spotty little showers uh, between Palmyra, Lake Monticello and Fork Union and not too far away from the Scottsville area. But if it does rain in your neighborhood, it won't last more than about 15 minutes. A couple of little showers west of Rockersville, west of Sandersville. That is drying up as it shifts along the northern Blue Ridge there, but you can see See about 99% of the region is on the rain free side currently. I don't expect widespread rain anytime soon. The most active weather is offshore. This is now newly named Tropical Storm Odette. It was just named in the last hour, but the good news with Odette, it will move away from land and it will produce some uh, onshore winds with a northeast wind flow kicking up the surf, the waves, and also the rip current. So keep that in mind at Virginia Beach, the Outer Banks into the northeast as well. But it looks like for us, we're going to have that northeast wind flow that locked in the clouds today, but finally we're seeing some sunshine break on out now. And with the humid atmosphere, I can't roll out a stray shower chance this evening and once again tomorrow evening for parts of the area. We're going to remain on the humid side and above average temperature wise for the next few days and nights. Our rapid refresh high res forecast model shows this evening a stray shower chance through about midnight. Anything that forms out there will dissipate after that and then some fog at 8 in the morning, a break of sun at midday and by say 5 to 7 p.m. Shenandoah Valley, Blue Ridge Mountains, your most favorite to see a pop up shower or downpour, but not a washout. Now the next big thing I'm tracking from the weather center is an autumn cold front, especially by Wednesday. The first day of autumn will bring down a weather pattern change. Daytime highs next week will be much cooler than average for a change. It looks like warmer than average this weekend and Monday and next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 60s and 70s and overnight lows in the 40s. Rainfall wise beneficial rain in the Tuesday through early Thursday time frame forecast models are painting a half inch to two inches of rainfall midweek next week for tonight though a spotty shower not a washout for high school football or Fridays after five lows in the 60s by daybreak areas of fog tomorrow's forecast low to mid 80s partly sunny a stray shower chance not a washout though seven day forecast 60s tomorrow night in the 80s and mainly dry Sunday low 80s on Monday a passing shower better chance of rain later Tuesday Wednesday early Thursday with a much cooler and drier weather pattern to follow.